Welcome to EUFA News Today. We are so excited to share the latest news and updates from the world of European football with you. In today's article, we take a closer look at the ongoing investigation into Italian football club Juventus, who are facing allegations of financial irregularities, suspicious player transfers, and market manipulation. The club has been penalized by the Italian Football Federation's Federal Court of Appeal, resulting in a loss of 15 points in the Italian Championship and the suspension of 11 officials and former officials, including former President Andrea Agnelli. It's important to note that this investigation is ongoing and a final decision has not yet been reached regarding the accusations made against Juventus and its officials. Juventus under scrutiny, Italian soccer club investigated for financial irregularities and market manipulation. The most successful team in Italy, Juventus, is being investigated by authorities due to suspicions of financial irregularities, suspicious transfers, and market manipulation. The club was sanctioned by the Federal Court of Appeal of the Italian Football Federation, FIGC, last week, resulting in a loss of 15 points in the Italian Championship and the suspension of 11 directors and former directors, including former President Andrea Agnelli. Juventus is appealing the decision and awaiting the publication of the court's reasoning. The reason for the punishment is due to tax fraud related to player transfers. The club had been cleared in April last year, along with other clubs, after the Siri A Supervisory Commission, Cuthasoc, investigated 62 suspicious transfers carried out in the 2018-19, 2019-20, and 2020-21 seasons. 42 of these transfers involved Juventus, including the exchange of midfielders Janik and Arthur with Barcelona. The Prosecutor's Office of the Italian Football Federation managed to reopen the case with the help of information shared with the Turin Public Prosecutor. The Public Prosecutor opened the criminal investigation, Prisma, in May 2021, to investigate the financial irregularities of Juventus. By analyzing the financial results of 2019, 2020, and 2021, the prosecutors found significant discrepancies and indications of false accounting, non-existent transfer invoices, and market manipulation. For example, they discovered a supposed agreement with players and technical staff for a reduction in salaries during the beginning of the pandemic, in March 2020. According to the prosecutors, the cut only applied for that month, and this deceived the financial market, since Juventus is a publicly traded company on the Euronext stock exchange, Milan. In addition, in November 2021, the club issued new shares and raised €400 million, Euros, with the aim of mitigating the economic impact of the pandemic. In doing so, it was obliged to disclose that it was under inspection by the National Commission for Companies and the Stock Exchange, CONSEB, an authority of the Italian government that regulates the securities market. That same month, financial police carried out a search and seizure operation of documents at the Contenasa Training Center and at Juventus headquarters. Six people were targeted in the operation, including Andrea Agnelli and Vice President Pavel Nedved. The Calciopoli resulted in the loss of the two Italian titles and the immediate demotion of the team to Serie B for the 2006-07 season. In addition, other clubs were also punished, including Lazio and Fiorentina. This new financial scandal puts Juventus in a delicate situation, with the risk of losing points in the Italian championship and the possibility of being suspended by the European Football Confederation. Juventus, which is the most successful team in Italy, is being investigated by authorities for financial irregularities, suspicious transfers, and market manipulation. The preliminary hearing of the Prisma investigation by the Turin Public Prosecutor has been scheduled for March 27. It is important to note that this investigation is ongoing and there is no final decision yet on the accusations made against Juventus and its directors. What did you think of this article? Make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more updates from the world of football. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments.